What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're talking about fragrances that are just so impactful. They're straight up showstoppers. And this was a member voted video by my channel members. And we're bringing you eight very specific fragrances. Uh, this is indeed all niche fragrances. These are, I think bangers kind of an understatement for these. Hence why we're talking about stopping the show. Because these are super impressive. They're all very strong. They're all very potent. They're all extreme high quality. And they're all extremely assertive. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. Starting with one of the most captivating fragrances I've come across in a long time. It is from Vertus. This is Vanilla Oud. This is a subtle hype beast in many ways. I know myself and my buddy Justin have given it a ton of praise. My God, is that good. Captive. I have to admit, I couldn't stop complimenting Justin the first time I smelled it on him. That was where I discovered this. Was Justin had brought it to one of our Chicago trips and was wearing it throughout the day. And I mean, even 14, 15 hours into his wearing that evening when we filmed content at the hotel it just he walked by me and just siage just grabbed me almost punched me in the nose the siage it's understated just how strong this fragrance actually is uh it leaves room for discoverability but boy once it hits you it hits you uh this is a very like saffron spiced creamy vanilla a little funkiness from the oud. There's an animalistic tone to this one. Very warm and ambery. Uh, spicy without being too spicy, but there's an inherent warm, like cozy spice to this one. Absolute stunning. Uh, this is, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is one of the five best fragrances I think I've ever smelled in my life. That's the kind of praise I put on this one. That's why I thought we would really set the tone with something like this. If you haven't tried this yet, get a decant this will probably immediately be your favorite special occasion fragrance it's virtus vanilla oud while there's a ton of darker fragrances that have the ability to do what the video topic states that they can do there's always some freshies that kind of shock the system and raja parfums burlington 1819 would be that now not a traditional freshie there's some density here but the main thing is the level of complexity and nuance in this fragrance. It's a warm orange peel type of smell. There's some booziness that's helping warm this up. There's musk. There's a lot of wood. There's animalics here. I believe there's castorium and civet in here, if I remember correctly, that provide that kind of musky animalistic tone. This is one of a kind. I've never smelled anything like Burlington 1819. Uh, this is one of the most well-composed, captivating fragrances I've ever come across. It's a must-try from the house, and this is one that can be worn year-round for special events, for, for work. If you really want to make an impact in your office setting, you don't need many sprays because it's very strong, but this will set you apart. Absolutely. It's not full of modern synthetics. It doesn't have that blue fragrance feel. Still provides freshness, an uber masculine tone. While there's a serious feel to this fragrance, it's more of a presence than it is an overstatement. There's a strong presence to this scent profile. It's absolutely to be experienced. This is another one. Everything in this video, I would encourage you to get samples and experience, but this is possibly let me look yeah the freshest fragrance in this video for sure but also arguably the most complex it's Raja Parfums Burlington 1819 this next one I most recently wore to the launch event slash cannoli mafia prom as it was dubbed but launch event for Zaharoff signature Royale triple X I wore this this is a tester bottle I picked up from my buddy an unaverage Joe here on YouTube shout out to him so it's got a tester cap but this is compelling. Unfortunately, my wife does not care for this, but boy, it, it's so captivating. I, I did have a few discussions about this at the party. It is Amwaj's Overture Man. See, I have the tester cap. I have to leave it a little loose. Like, it's still not really all that loose because it's a nightmare to pull off if it's all the way down. But while we have the cap off, this is another one that's very animalistic, ashy, smoky tone, warmth. 
I believe there's a little bit of booze in here. Like the color of this juice is very fitting. This is crazy masculine. I, I, I'm not saying women can't wear this, but I can't imagine smelling this on a woman. It's just, there's so much woods, spices, density, earthiness, animalic muskiness, uh, kind of a leathery facet to it. Um, I want to say there's an oud note in here as well. I'm not 100% sure, and I believe there's a little bit of booze because it does have a little bit of a boozy nuance to it, but this is captivating. This is a special occasion in a bottle. This is when you want to make a statement, you want a strong presence from your fragrance. I mean, it's definitely one that unfortunately I have to wear when I'm going to be in special event situations without my wife, which because of the handicapping of what our dog is with being diabetic and blind, one of us always has to stay home. So we can't really travel abroad, you know, not abroad, but out of town together. So that was a rare occasion where I had the perfect opportunity to wear this. Admittedly, I'm not going to get to wear this much moving forward because she does not like the way this smells. And most of the time when we do something special, I'm with her. So rare occasion for me, but I would encourage you to try it because it is special. It's not for everyone. It is a very polarizing fragrance, but it makes such a statement. Mindful of the sprays too. This is a monster. It's Amouage Overture Man. Now, I haven't wore this one in some time. But this is kind of a poster child for this fragrance topic. It's special. It's probably the most special scent profile of what I have from Nishane. It's Fan Your Flames. This is so captivating. It's almost a crystallized marshmallow smell, the way this booze and coconut come across. It's so woodsy. It's not overly sweet. This is great. There's earthiness to it. Obviously, there's some woods, but the coconut rum tobacco combination for me is the main players, especially early on in this fragrance, and it creates such a unique profile. I don't have any other fragrance that smells like this. It doesn't remind me of anything else, uh, but this is super intoxicating and alluring. There is sex appeal to this aroma, but at the same time, the uniqueness and the way it nuances, at least on my skin, definitely makes for the show-stopping type of DNA, where it's it's going to pull people in closer. This is a very charismatic, magnetic fragrance that will pull people in. Um, your significant other is definitely, I mean, there's no guarantees here, but more than likely your significant other is going to be very appreciative of this fragrance. When you're dressed up and heading out for the evenings, or you have a special occasion, or weddings, or, you know, maybe banquets and such, and you really want a fragrance that's going to make a pretty strong statement and have a really strong presence and have that ability to pull people in to want to know more, this is one of those scent DNAs that I think even better than Nishane's Ani, which is technically my favorite from the house, I think this does that job even better. That's intoxicating in its own right. It could have definitely gone in here, but I feel like the uniqueness to this scent profile warrants this one being in the video. A must try is Fan Your Flames. Whew, man. All right. So strength is definitely a strong suit. This is an abrasive, aggressive statement. This is a statement maker. It's a head turner. It's a showstopper. It's a main event. It really is in itself because people are going to smell you with this one. This is a Haroff Signature Leather Tobacco. Oh, my there's a medicinal feel at the top, the way the plum comes across with this dense, rich, thick, smoky birch tar at the top. Spices, earthy tobacco. Oh, and different leather accords, suede. It's musky. It's animalic. It's somehow aggressive, but smooth. Claude Deere worked magic. This is so well composed. This is a must try. From This is the showstopper from the house. Don't be wrong, Rosé is its own level of intoxicating. They kind of sit parallel to one another on a pedestal. I can't really pick one over the other because they're such different experiences and they're so magical. But this one, when you really want to make a statement, you want your fragrance to be part of the conversation, this is it. It's going to captivate. It's going to make sure... Look, even at three sprays, People all around you are going to smell you. I do not wear more than three sprays for the, of this. My buddy Justin fussed me two days in a row for wearing three sprays of this in a large banquet room that we were in because this is a monster on my skin. 
from what I see, it seems to be the thing for everyone that it's an absolute nuclear beast for them as well. But if you like leather, tobacco, scents, spices, smoke, dense woods, hefty with a sweetness that just kind of rounds off the edges and is not really all that sweet of a fragrance, you're going to want to get a sample of this and try this. This is one of the two that I would say is absolute must try from the house. This and Rosé, but if you want the showstopper, you want Signature Leather Tobacco. An utter joy to experience and wear. The kind of power that can grab, reach out and grab, but when it comes to boozy tobaccos, I put this in its own category. It's Argos Triumph of Bacchus. The way, and this has aged quite a bit, this bottle's a few years old, the way the peach and apple combination in the top is just a robust, thick, fruity smell that doesn't make it too sweet. But a beautiful, clean, fruity, sweet smell. The Rum Absolute is so robust here. It's ambery and full of rum. A quality rum smell with a tobacco that has a slight earthiness, a slight creamy tone. It's not real heavy on the earthy side of things. It's not a real smoky type of tobacco. Uh, intoxicating is a great word to describe the way this scent profile is. Uh, very unisex. It definitely leans much more on the masculine side. But I know several ladies that do enjoy this fragrance, most notably my stepdaughter. Big fan of this one. She's, clean, she's almost cleaned out her 30 ml and she only wears it on certain occasions. But this is special. This is my favorite fragrance from the house. Uh, I do wear Baccio Immortel to weddings. Don't get me wrong. That's a special event leather fragrance for me. But when I want to really stand out, put five sprays of this on. Oh, my God. Five sprays is plenty of this fragrance. Some people will say it reminds them of Mancera Red Tobacco. Somewhat, sure. To the untrained nose or out in the air even potentially, I get that. But there's so much pungent oud and smoke and everything going with that where this is clean. This has a purity to it. It's... There's no rough edges. There's no dark nuances. It's bright. It's very vibrant. And like I said, this is, in my opinion, a few notches above something like that. This, this does it better without smelling exactly like it. I mean, I have to address the elephant in the room. But yeah, this is so much better. It's not dark, smoky, and pungent. Still has all the power. And this has more class and elegance to it, if I'm being totally honest with you. You want... You want the topic of conversation type of fragrance? You're going to want to get a sample and experience Argos Triumph of Bacchus. Now, this is the newest to my collection in this video. And it's another Claude Deere masterpiece. I wore this to our second to last dinner. And if you like smoky fragrances, there's a variety of smoky nuances here from Gaiac Wood to... Um, there's a smoke accord, if I remember correctly, as well as frankincense. It's warm amber. It's spicy. It's narcotica doja. Amber intense. You don't need much. I did four sprays, and the sillage is immense on this one. Smoky fragrance lovers, this is for you. This is absolutely worth the experience. I'm going to spray this one. Look at that beautiful atomizer. Ashy, dry, smoky, woodsy, very masculine, very masculine fragrance. Very good at making a statement, too. My wife was such a fan of this. I've only worn it twice since I got it. I just got it, and it's captivating. I'm a huge fan of smoky fragrances. You'll notice a theme. There's a lot of smoky, nuanced fragrances in here. Not all of them, but at least half of them, maybe more, um, have a smoky nuance floating in the air kind of engulfing the space. It's ever so present. It's not too aggressive of a scent profile. Like, it's not going to overwhelm you. I'm sure if you spray this one moderate to heavy, like, you start getting in the five, six, seven, and beyond sprays, that's too much for this fragrance. I'm sorry. It just is. Whereas if you leave a little room for discovery, which three or four sprays, that's still very potent. Trust me, based off of experience, it's very potent at three or four sprays because it's just the way it's composed. It's, it's airy, but immense. I hope that makes sense. Like the presence is immense. It has an immense presence to it, but it's not overwhelmingly thick. It's not a, like just going to invade your nostrils. It's going to lightly tickle them. You're going to smell it. You even several feet away, a few hours in, 
you're going to smell whoever's wearing this. If you're wearing this, that's what you're looking for. That's why you're watching this video. You're looking for some recommendations to make a statement at these special events and occasions that you're going to go to, and you want that showstopper. You want somebody to stop you and ask you about your fragrance. I'm not guaranteeing anything with any one of these fragrances, but they all heighten the chances, and this one in particular I'm extremely impressed with. This is definitely going kind of in the date night rotation because my wife's a big fan of this one, but... Um, this would be great in wedding situations, banquets, all the different things we've talked about throughout this video. I encourage you, just like with everything else in this video, get a sample. If you like smoky fragrances, you're going to want to try this. It says Amber Intense, but there's a lot of smoky nuance to this. That's why I love it so much. It's Narcotica Doja Amber Intense. Last but not least, this was one of the biggest surprises of 2022 for me personally. I fell in love with this upon first sniff. I spent plenty of time with it throughout this past fall and winter. Uh, I got to tell you, they they killed it with this. This is part of the lace, of uh, the lace extracts, the lace extracts. I don't know why it was such a tongue twister. Collection from Eight and Bob. This is Agnetta. Agnetta is magical. Beautiful aromatic cardamom spiciness at the top. The oud here is not overly funky, but very very distinctively an oud oil. It's more of a Slight, sweet, lightly funky type of oud. <sighs> Ambery. Oh, so beautiful. This is intox... For an oud, super intoxicating. The aromatics mix with the cardamom and oud and amber combo. It's a simplistic note breakdown. There's not a bunch of complexity here. There's not a ton of layers to peel back. It's very straightforward. But they did source, and this is per the brand... They sourced the highest quality raw materials they could find to create this collection. And when you smell this, you sure believe it because it does, it, it's pricey. For a 50 ml, I want to say it's 230 bucks if I, USD if I remember correctly for a 50 ml. And it smells like you're getting, if you're into perfumery and you're willing to pay for the quality, you need to sample this. This is incredible. This blew me away. I do have another one in the collection. I haven't even given it the time of day because when I want to even come close to sniffing this collection, I immediately reach for this fragrance. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the other one. It's just immediately I think of this when I see the two boxes. I go to this because this was the first one I grabbed when I received because they were sent to me by Twisted Lily last year. This blew me away. It absolutely blew me away. In some ways, I, I'm not going to say save the best for last because I would have probably saved this for last if, if I'm being completely honest with myself. But this is up there. Man, this is one of the best pickups of 2022 for me when it comes to sophistication, slight uniqueness. I wouldn't say it's the most unique and niche fragrance on the planet because it is oud, but it's not unwearable. I think the wearability factor is pretty high here. I think ladies that appreciate fine perfumery can absolutely enjoy this masculine-leaning composition. It is gorgeous. My God, is gorgeous such a good word to describe this scent profile. This is one, I mean, I've said it about every fragrance because all of these are just so good, hence why they're in here for this particular topic. You should try this. Let's just keep it simple at this point. You should just try this. Cardamom, Oud, Amber is the main things you're going to get pretty much the whole time. And it's some of the highest quality I've ever experienced. It's incredible. It's Eight and Bob Agnetta. Well, that's the eight that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Of these eight, what have you tried? What do you think about the ones you've tried? Have you never tried them? Did any of this spark your attention? your interest and intrigue let me know down in the comments thank you to my channel members that did vote on this video this was the second highest voted i already made the one that got the most votes so uh, i was happy to make this one i was absolutely happy because this is all just like they're mind-blowingly good for me some of my favorite fragrances in my collection and i have an immense amount of fragrances it's ridiculous and absurd and these really really stand out in my collection. And until next time, I will say, if you get your nose, not just get in your hands, but you get to spray and experience any of the eight featured in this video, I'm extremely confident you'll thank me later because, like I said in the beginning, banger, total understatement for each of these. Have a good one, guys.